other day, I celebrated my life day, as I do every year. Not my birthday, but a symbolic day that I choose exactly nine months before my birthday, signifying when I came into existence. Although birth is an important change of environment, it's not as profound as conception. It seems to me that who's ever pro-science and pro-life would celebrate their symbolic life day. It communicates to the world the inalienable dignity of our first nine months. Yet, whenever I mention my life day, there are always people who can't get past the thought of their parents having marital relations. Now, it shouldn't be difficult for mature minds to distinguish between the awesomeness of coming into being and the process by which it happens. Nonetheless, if people appreciated sex to be the sacred person-making act that it is, a very reflection of the self-donation between the divine persons of the Trinity, they would be awed, not repulsed. But regardless, there are three related milestones all Christians should consider commemorating annually their conception, their birth, and their baptism, which is their supernatural birth. And with regard to importance, you can't be baptized without first being born, and there can be no birthday without first being conceived. Perhaps we don't contemplate enough the unfathomable gift of our being. We could say each of us has always been a thought in the eternal mind of God, yet on the natural level, the chances of there ever being a you or a me are virtually zero. Think about it. So stand out with courage and celebrate your life day. Communicate the joy of being and the awesome truth that as individuals we come into being at conception. It's a truth the world sorely needs to hear. That's your Murano Minute. Happy belated life day.